Welcome back. We're going to do row 8A. And it says color B goes to the back. So we do color B immediately at the back. And it stays there. I'm getting my yarn. It's done in the blue color. It's on the back of your work. So we are correctly. And we're going to do two in the front. See, this is hanging in the back. Regardless if you're facing front or back of your work. It does if it says... B, B, and means color B goes to the back, regardless if you're facing front or back. Okay, we're going to, we already made our side stitch, or I made my side stitch, not you, I don't know. And we're going to do two in the front. Two, one in the back. Four in the front. One in the back, one in the front, two in the front even, two in the front, one. Pull it through, eh? You see me? I pull it through. That was a big digger. Yay. Two in the front. And then, then side stitch, which is finding that skip one and then put it in here. Yarn over first. Always difficult in a chain to get two loops, and I got only one. You see, I pull it a little bit, and I stretch it, I mangle it, and I rush it, and I'm going to use my nail now. Rah! Only want this one under. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I have more things to do today. Come on. Come on, yarn. Oh, yarn. Yes, got them. See, two loops. We aren't through. It's always a little bit priggle. In in a big project, I don't do this. I just put it through the window. And especially when you use thinner yarn and not this thick yarn, I can't care less. And I just put it like this through the window and make it one, two. Is it one? Yeah, one, two, three, and four. Now I got four. Hey, difficult counting four. It doesn't say turn your work or anything yet, so we lay it down as it is flat on flat on my table. We're going just to have a look of admiration of my lovely creation. Okay, and I hope to see you in the next row, we'll, which will be 8B. We're almost finished. It's only uh, 10, 11, win, 11 by 11 windows, so it's a very small pattern. And it doesn't even take uh, 30 meters, 40 meters of yarn. I think it takes 30. So it's just a little exercise. Thank you. We're going to do row 8B. And the inside stitch is already at the back. That's great. And at the end we have to turn our work. And we're working at the back of work. So all seems correct. Inside stitch back already done. And then we're going to work 3 in the front. Which is here. Pull forward yarn through. 3 in the front. 1. 2. And three. And then three at the back. One. Two. And three. And three in the front, one, two, and three. Because we have to find a little bit, where are those two loops there, front. And then 
inside stitch back uh, this is taken this is taken so I need to have this one get those two loops sometimes it goes well and sometimes it doesn't go there this is good for me double crochet chain one two three and four secure your work and at the end of the call table row it says turn your work which I will do and I will turn my work and I got it there and so let us look at the pattern let us admire my work or your work or whatever show it if you made this I love to see your work and see we got our pattern here which is already forming because we only have a few more rows to go and I hope I see you in the next round thank you row 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 row, row your boat okay we're going to work in the blue color front of work it's row 9a row 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 your boat and the white color goes to the front it says bf b goes to the front we're going to work in the blue yarn i hope i got all loops through yeah we got them now and what are we going to do? We're going to do a side stitch, which we already did, of course, and then four in the front. Two back. Four front. Oh, lost the loop. And side stitch. Why this isn't a side stitch back and front? Because it's really the side, 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 side stitch. It's not an inside stitch, it's a side stitch. One, two, I found it immediately. This is the one I need to have. Whoa, struggle it through, got it. And make your side stitch of the day. And immediately make the next side stitch for the next row, four chain. There, secure it. Could also make a standing crochet. You have pure teens that do that. Why not be my guest? Oh, look at this. It's pretty. See a little flower. It's a little bit of silly thing. I know that it's not much, but it works and it's small and you can use it as, I don't know, as a, as a little square. To make a vest of it, put it all together, you know, sew them all together. But I wouldn't do it because a summer cardigan is coming. Yeah. And it was row 9A. If you want to join me for row 9B, free feel free feel free to click on the next link. English is so difficult. Ah. Welcome back. We're going to do row 9B. Yay! 9B is in the white. It's front at work, which is convenient. We are at the front of the work. And at the end we turn our work again. Ooh, spannend. I did already do my side inside side shits and luckily it's at the front and not at the back so we don't have to rip out a row, a frog row, how you want to call it. It's two back. One. Two. One front. Need to dig deep through the window, pull it forward. Double crochet, chain one, three back, pull them backwards, pull those loopies backwards, another one, and three, 
<coughs> Getting thirsty. You want another cup of tea? I love my tea. There. Chain one. One in the front. Only get tea. I can only award myself tea if I finish this. I want to finish this before I die of thirst. Ah. Two back. And inside stitch front. So we're going to find a little stitch. You did skip one yarn over and dig those one, two, three there. I want to have those two. And I got them. Yeah, you got them. And double crochet. And I do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Chain four immediately. Secure my work. Secure your work. You can also secure my work. By giving me a like. <laughs> I like the like he's on, on, on YouTube. I don't have many. Uh, look at this. It's nice. And it says at the end of the row, it says turn your work. Which we do immediately. Yay, 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 yay. And I turned my work. Hope to see you for row 10B. 10a 10a yes we going to do 10a whoa we going to eat pizza back we're going to do row um 10a to be honest i had the whole square already finished when i noticed there was a mistake in my pattern because you will see it here it will be already corrected but here it says 10b and that should be 10f so it should be all in the front. No, it should be in the back, but I made it all in the front, so I did a little mistakey. Uh, so I ripped it all out again. I frogged it, and I will show you the correct row for 10A. 10A is back of work. We work in the A collar. The little thingy here of the white collar is hanging in the back, and we're going to do 10 in the back. So yarn over, and we're going to do 1. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and the last one that is number ten. Then it's a side stitch. Side stitch, and we want to the two there. And we make a double crochet. And then one, two, three, four. And secure my yarn. Secure my work, your work, or whatever work. And there it is in the back. There's no turning yet. So we keep it like this. And I hope to see you in the next row, which will be 10B. The last row done in white. Thank you. Welcome back. We're going to do row 10B. And we're working back of work, which is correct. We're working in the white yarn here. And the inside stitch is already at the back, which is correct. And I only have a little bit of yarn because I have fucked it out already because I made a mistake. Shh. <laughs> So we're going to do the pattern. There's two in the front. One back. Three fronts. Two 
one back. One back it says, and then two fronts, not back. Oh, listen to your own pattern dear. Come on. One back. And then inside stitch in the back. Find that stitch there. One, two. One, two, three. And three. And then one stitch, two stitch, yarn through. And pull it very tight shouldn't have cut it off use your nails push it back make it a knot so it's secure there we did the last one in the white and then it says turn your work so we will turn our work now it doesn't matter where this hangs anymore that's why it doesn't say and here it is the pattern and now it's correct and i love it yay i love it love it okay see you in the next row perhaps thank you Welcome back. We're going to do row 11a. It's the last one, and then we're going to make a simple border around the white and about the blue. Okay, we're going to follow the pattern. We did our side stitch already, and then it says 10 back. So we just pull all those stitches back. That is only one loop. I want both loops. Let me find them. This is a loop. Where is the other loop? There, and I find them both now. See? One was hiding, one was hiding, one, two, here, so, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then and then we do the side stitch. One, two, there it is, yarn over, side stitch, both loops, double crochet, and I will secure my work because we're going to use that blue yarn later for our border. Shouldn't have cut off the white yarn, so it's easier to make a border. Now I will start here or anywhere. I will start here in this corner for the border so I can crochet this yarn in. Okay, thank you very much. This was the last row of this. You can leave it like this if it's just a practice square. I wouldn't put borders around it. I just would use it. If you're going to sew them together, don't put borders around it. Just crochet them together. And this is the last row. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please click the next link for the borders, the simple border. It can go on any interlocking work you do. Thank you.